Welcome to our series on the names of God. Today we will begin uh, studying names that begin with the word Jehovah and then have attached to it a name that describes him. Uh, if you'll remember when we looked at just the base name Jehovah, one of the definitions is he is the becoming one. And so we see as we attach names, he becomes these things to us. And, and so as I looked at this name today, this was uh, you that travel with me. This was a uh, hit the floor moment for me uh, when I just saw this name in a deeper way. And uh, I'm in awe. Uh, so today, this is my favorite name. And I love the fact that we can attach names to the name Jehovah because he becomes what we need for each and every circumstance, each and every day. Uh, I think this is one of the names that may be one of the most misapplied or misunderstood names of all the names of God. It's been translated as the Lord will provide. So we say things like Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide my mortgage payment, my rent payment. Uh, in this time of quarantine, I, I know the Lord will provide a way for me to get out of the house. We, we attach it to a lot of our desires and a lot of our needs. We associate it with the word provision. But the real sense behind this name is so much better. And we often expect our Jehovah Jireh to provide what he has not promised. And, and that's something we, we hopefully will want to correct as we look at this name. Look at the story where it was used. The Lord appeared to Abraham and he said this, take now your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. Now, look in this command. We see your son whom you love. God knows what he's asking. He knows this is so very important to Abraham. But we're told the next day, Abraham rose early and did as the Lord commanded. And on the third day, Abraham took Isaac along with the wood and fire and knife up to the mountain. And Isaac said to his dad what you and I would probably say or, or ask. He said, look, the fire and the wood, but where's the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham's response was this in Genesis 22, 8. My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for the burnt offering. So the two of them went together. And as Abraham lifted the knife, the Lord intervened. And Abraham lifted his eyes and he saw a ram caught in the thicket. And then we're told after Abraham sacrificed the ram, he called the name of the place, the Lord will provide. As it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. That's it. This is the only time in the Bible that the name Jehovah Jireh is used. And take note, the word provide in verse 8 that I read to you, and the word provided at the end of verse 14, has not, it's not Jehovah Jireh, it's not Jireh. It's the word seized, as we learned that Hagar discovered about the Lord, that, that he's the God who sees. So in this word translated provided here, it's talking about the God who sees. Remember the God who responds to, does something about what he sees. Literally, the gist of the meaning here is very similar to the fact that God sees. The literal is God will see to it. We talked about this when we looked at Elroy. When God sees, he responds. He does something about what he sees. And it is always, always the right response. So let's add what Hebrews records. It sheds light on Abraham's understanding of the fact that he knew before God even provided the lamb, that God would provide, that God would see to it. So we look at Hebrews eleven seventeen to 19. By faith, 
Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, of whom God promised, in Isaac your seed shall be called, concluding that God was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from which he also received him in a figurative sense. Now, add this to Romans 4.21, speaking of Abraham, speaking of Abraham's faith, being fully convinced that what he, God, had promised, he was able to perform. Now, this is the sense that we need to get about Jehovah Jireh. Abraham knew that God would see to it, that he would be faithful to, to be a keeper of his promises. God had promised Abraham a son. And not only that, God promised many people would come from that son, would come from Isaac. Abraham didn't know how God would do it, but he knew God would keep his promise. So yes, the Lord is our provider. He is faithful to provide the means by which he will keep his promises. Does that disappoint you? That he completes the blanks that we set forth sometimes differently than you and I do. Oh, may you and I rejoice in the wonder that every, every promise of God, he will see to it that it's fulfilled. When it looks like he's doing something contrary to his promise, he will do it. When it looks like there's no way that promise can be fulfilled, he will see to it. A second Timothy 2.13 reminds us he cannot deny himself. He cannot do anything contrary to what he has promised and, and who he is. Our God has declared himself to be Jehovah Jireh. The Lord will provide. The Lord will see to it. He will see to it. My secular dictionary defines the phrase see to it as be sure it gets done. The Lord will take every single one of his promises to us and be sure they get done. I love that. Our God will be sure his promises get done. And as I type this, this is where I, I hit the floor, just thinking about why did Abraham choose this name? And I thought about Abraham and Sarah as they didn't know God as Jehovah Jireh when they came up with the scheme to give Hagar to Abraham to do their part in God fulfilling his promise. See, they didn't know him as Jehovah Jireh, as he will see to it. He will get it done. But in acknowledging the Lord as Jehovah Jireh, we can see that Abraham, he learned a valuable lesson. That God is the one who will see to it that his promises come to fruition, we can come to our Jehovah Jireh and praise him that every promise he has made, he will see to it that it is accomplished. Rejoice in that. Bask in that. God.